Hi guys and welcome to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about how we can improve your synchronization of your backswing. So what do we mean by that? What, what I mean by that really is I want to feel that your arms and body finish the backswing at the same time. What I see with some golfers is they'll finish the shoulder turn and then the arms will carry on and get quite long and loose at the top and sometimes cause an overswing. Again, if the club travels in the right direction, an overswing isn't necessarily a bad thing. But certainly from a consistency point of view, the more we can get the body and arms synced up and control the length of our swing, quite often that improves consistency. So how do we do this? For me, the best thing to do is when we're taking the club back, if we start the club with the arms, let the arms connect to our body, and initiate the backswing and let the club just load through the wrist cocking, and then we allow the body to turn to the top so the arms feel like they have very little more to do. Obviously, they're going to turn and keep their relationship with the body, but they're not really traveling independently from there. They're traveling independently at the start, but not then secondary. That, for me, gives us the better timing of what the backswing would do and look like. So from this angle here, the club would move away and so on and load up. Then we turn our body so our mid-spine will turn. Our hips will turn and our thighs will turn, depending how flexible we are, the amount they would turn would vary per player. But we'd certainly see that rotation happen in that kind of order. And then hopefully by then we wouldn't see that overrun of the arms. So a lot of people get very early turn and then arms do this and get that overrun. That's what I'm trying to get rid of from this kind of conversation with you. So in order to sync up your arms, for me the best way to do it would be to get yourself set up to a golf ball, rehearse the arm swing going on its own, turn to the top, and maybe even make some shots doing that kind of drill. Once we have that feeling, then we'd put that into our normal swing. We might even have that as a waggle, where we'd start the swing with the arms only. Kind of Mike Weir did this a lot a while ago. He was working on probably the direction of his arms, but also it can help the sink. So let's try a shot. So we take a set up as normal, waggle the arms away, and swing and hit. So if you have the swing that kind of struggles to get that synchronization or you don't know what you should start your backswing with, starting with the arms kind of folding and moving connectively onto plane will be for me the ideal place to go. And then follow that with much more of a robotic body feel to the top would get that synchronization tidied up pretty quickly for me. So have a go at this, have a go at these thoughts and concepts and see how that improves your game. Post any comments you have in the box down below. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every single week. And thanks for watching.